you're visionary, it means you're going to see things other people don't yet see. It might be years advance, decades um, in advance. And so it's important that if you understand why you care about it and why people in your community care about it and why the rest of the world should care about it, that you keep persevering. I'd really like to understand, like for folks that are listening um, that want to achieve these types of things in their career, or specifically for women that want to get into tech, what advice do you have for them? One, don't chase the accolades. Those things came as a result of pursuing work that was important to me and work that people didn't believe in at the beginning. I remember um, even in grad school when I said I wanted to do a poetic PhD, write or be a poet of code. I remember, you know, receiving some laughter and some quizzical looks like, what is she even going on about? When I wanted to do research that was looking to see if there might be um, bias, racial bias, gender bias, age bias, and so forth, I was warned. I was warned by well-meaning people that if you do this sort of research, it could really pigeonhole you. I think it was really important for me to have community that wasn't just in my immediate surrounding, but in a wider uh, network. So I remember the research that I was doing, I reached out to a mailing list that I was on and I shared that and others were able to connect me with people who are studying computer vision and AI who also happen to be Black, right, and could kind of get a sense of what I was getting at. And being researchers, we have to test it. You can have a hunch, but you still need the data. And if you're visionary, it means you're going to see things other people don't yet see. It might be years advance, decades um, in advance. And so it's important that if you understand why you care about it, and why people in your community care about it and why the rest of the world should care about it, that you keep persevering. And then one day you might be advising the president of the United States on what to do when it comes to actually safeguarding our society from some of the harms of AI, you know? And I don't say that um, to be like, okay, that is the goal, but to say it's important that you don't let the voices of negativity keep you from your destiny. Yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I would love to end off right there, but I actually have one more question before we wrap up. Generally speaking, do you feel optimistic or pessimistic about the future of AI? Oh, I feel optimistic about the future of humanity. And AI is something that we've created. So as long as I believe in humans, I believe in our future. Because I've seen change happen, the companies we audited, I talk about this in the book, they all stopped selling facial recognition to law enforcement, right? You know, or when I see people who have changed how they think, what they do, their approach uh, to AI or their careers, or even what they think is possible for them. A mentor told me once to never stop dreaming, and that's what I would pass on to you as well. Awesome. Thank you so much. And before we wrap up our conversation today, is there any other piece of advice that you'd like to leave our listeners with? Your story matters. I think it's so easy to feel like when you're hearing so much about how advanced technology is and how superhuman it is and all of these things, it can go faster, that it's more efficient. You start like, well, what do we still have as humans, <laughs> you know, and our ability to express ourselves, the relationships that we form, our lived experiences, our actual essence, you know, that part that makes you from your biometrics to how you think to how you communicate. All of that is essential and it is your story. And so our humanity matters, our stories matter even more now in this age of excitement around uh, what AI can do. The human element is always at the center. Everyone turn on your facial, facial recognition block. We're here to make a planet. Can't nobody stop. Everyone turn on your facial, facial recognition block. We're here to make a planet. Can't nobody stop. Everyone turn on your facial, facial recognition block. We're here to make a planet.